yeah. We're still waiting for Bike Man. He's pooping. I didn't want you guys to stare at that intermission screen for the entire time, though. <laughs> yeah. I hope cool. he's losing like a lot of weight from this. Yeah. No, this is, what do you mean? This... It looks like Bike Man's standing right there. Yeah, he's just there. He's just a mute. No, oh, that, that's that... his pooping face. He's currently <laughs> pooping right now on camera. <laughs> just... Yeah, he should have turned off the like angry right. one. That would have been great. He just oh, that was, like he's really pushing it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, doesn't he have that one where he goes like, ah, yeah, push the, it. the angry one. Yeah, the angry one. Yeah, the angry one. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, while we're here, did, was there, um, Eric, do you want to get any more cyberware? We can do that now. Um, I should probably get the, the, like, what's, what's the best level of, um, it's what, what is it? uh, Bikeman got. Skin? So, uh, you mean synth no, armor? Uh, synth armor. Like, I meant like best, but you still can't tell that I have it. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah um, that's what I want. So, you don't want to lose any attractiveness? Yeah, no. But you see this? This is the moneymaker. You kidding me? <laughs> um, okay. Killing and dealing. Gotta lube those deals. Lube them up. Uh, so that's the same as the one that Nick got. So, uh, at, uh, stopping power 10. Cool. All right, let's do that. All right, give me a 1d6 plus 3 for humanity loss. Yes. Oh, shit. Plus 3, 1d6, Rolski, 4. God damn. That's good. That's, that's what you want. good. You want a lower roll. Yeah, yeah. that's why I was just like, shit. That's like yeah. an actually decent fucking roll. Good job, man. Um, you've rolled pretty good on your humanity check so far. I like it. God. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put uh, skin weave. Thank you, Cyber Jesus. You're welcome. <laughs> no, sorry. You're welcome. Jesus, what? Yeah, exactly. That's what Jesus sounds Why like. Why Jesus? Jesus? I got my voice box translated. It's an anchor man. No. All right. Uh. Yeah. So four. Congratulations. You are now the owner of sweet new skin weave. So when they're when they're cutting out your ding dong and replacing it with a <laughs> dangle dang, uh, you got an injection in the neck. Under B, like BT, like I imagine it was a case of like you were sitting in the uh, after the surgery after your ding dong, you're just sitting there with like like a big old fucking thing around your 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 waist, and you're sitting there with your legs up in the air to keep the blood from clotting in your legs. <laughs> and BT is sitting there just like shooting the shit with you because she's your primary caregiver during this period, right? So um, she's like. Yeah, the skin weave arm is like really nice, you know, it's like she like flicks her skin, you can see it like sort of like react to her flick, but it sort of like sort of also gives like a metallic hang. She's like, yeah, no, I mean like mine's kind of a little visible, but like it's only like like sort of, you know, Mass Effect style with like the red line sort of thing. Mm. Under the right light, basically her armor shows up like that. Yeah. So it's got like sort of like silver lines throughout her face or whatever. And, I got you. All right. And she's like, have you ever thought about getting it? I mean, like, all it is is just a simple injection, you know? Simple injection. <laughs> you and paint a very nice simple. picture. Just simple, we... I mean, little tiny machines go in your body and just fucking it, harden your is skin. Is this what our, our characters are doing while we're waiting for Bike Man to stop pooping? This is during I, I this... kind of wonder if he pushed so hard <laughs> that he, like, passed out and, like, what if he wanged fell his head on, like, the wall or something, or, like, a towel rack. And now he's just like knocked out with his pants down, just like on the floor <laughs> in front of the toilet. Now, do you defecate when you're knocked out? I'm pretty sure you do. He might shit his pants, or Sometimes. he might like keep pooping. Like, if, like if anything, loosen. then we just have to wait for him to wake up because they finished pooping. Yeah. This is all <laughs> going to be in the vod, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about bike man's it's shit. <laughs> all right, so you get SP10 on all your armor slots. Sick. Also, I should be good and armored now. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, you're, the only problem is was your head, right? Well, so no, you, I got the mask, didn't I? The Destro mask. But if someone shoots you from behind, you'll fuck. Can uh, I dodge it? Back in the head. No. Wrap it up. Uh, so this is going to cost you 1,000 buckaroonies. No. Uh, 1,600 buckaroonies, or AKA Eurobucks, AKA Bob Dylan dollars. My, you and, said 1,600? Yeah. Okay. And I will just uh, add your armor score up. Sweet. Yeah, you're a 42 on the chest and arm. Um, Jesus Christ. That's yeah. your 42 everywhere aside from the head. I'm a, what's, my highest head is a 38 on my torso. Your head is 22. Still, that's, that's and, not bad. And from the back. And from the back, it's 22 as well? Uh, from the back of the head, it's 10. 
from the front is 20. Is there a way that I can get like one of those fucking um, what is it? Like a uh, army of two style mask where it's like it, there's a it covers the front and back. That would be a helmet. No, no, it was, but it wasn't, <laughs> no, no, but it wasn't. I thought it wasn't a helmet. It was like a mask part on the front and then like an attachment on the back. Uh, no, I think they just had like hockey mask style. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure is they, that they, it? That like yeah. payday mask, I thought. You know. Like, uh, could I just do a mask like that then, where it's like almost like a full helmet? If you want a helmet with a mask on the front, all you gotta do is say. Okay, fuck it. Let's do that. It's an army of two mask. Hey. All right then. There you go. Yeah. Why don't you take off another 200 and we'll make okay. that. Okay, all right. Oh, is Fats in here? Done deal. Oh, oh Fats. Fat. So, oh, I'm like, my God, Nick, I remind me after this. I need to show you what Fats and I are doing. Oh. Ew. I'm you're sitting, gonna, at, so I'm sitting at my bar, my local watering hole. I'm like, I'm like fucking just like calling everyone I know to see if I can get a hold of Sonya. Yeah, lastly, let's I'm, do that role if you want to do that. Yeah. Sure. But as I'm sitting there, I'll just like fucking get a hold of everyone. I have like a little, like a hollow disc thing, you know? It's like mm -hmm. sit on the table and it's got the beams of light to make a hologram, like a little tiny hologram, like in a uh, Star Wars. And Yo, in... what type of future do you think you're in, man? <laughs> this fucking shit exists! What do you I think it's fucking Blade Runner? If anything, it's, it's got a, it's got a little like it, like it's, it's like a GIF. It's like a very short animation of Jam <laughs> of Jamantha of Jamantha <laughs> dancing. GIF. It's like the last like, the last thing I have from her aside from the panties that I have in my. So body. here's here's what I think it actually is right. It's a box <laughs> like a little tiny box about yay big or about oh. this big actually right. And inside there's dry ice. The dry ice smokes up, and then all it is is lasers pointing up. So it's not actually a hologram, but it kind of looks like. Okay, that's what that's it is. That's pretty cool, actually. I like yeah, that. that's. I'm just like I'm just staring at it while I'm calling people. So what's, what's the roll against street check again? Uh, so you needed to pass a uh, four. Uh, imagine there's D10. just like, I imagine he's in like a jazz bar and there's roll, like light jazz times. playing, and he's just like he's sipping, throwing back like whiskey <laughs> or cheap beer, and he's just like, should I just roll <sighs> a four d ten plus six then? I, I miss you, Jamantha. Uh, or, or, or say, <laughs> say again, sorry. You want me to roll 1d6 plus 10, or 1d10 plus 6 four times, or roll 4d10? Just roll 4d10, and then we'll okay. add on. So basically, um, if going by your, uh... Oh, shit! I don't think you... That uh, roll, though. No. It's supposed no. to be, like, it's supposed to be, So like, any, anything above 15s. a 4, and you would have passed, but... <laughs> 29, yeah. I think So did. this is going to take you another day on top of it. So. Fucking Christ. <laughs> it's just super hard to find, man. People are just like, oh, yeah, I don't know, man. I haven't seen Sonya in like fucking months. You know? So you're just going through your contact, and your contact list is massive. Jamantha died, yes. Jim Sterling killed her. Fucking Jim Sterling, man. I'm going to find him and get him one day. Yeah. So, like, look, I look at the little fucking dry ice. I'll get him, I'll get him babe. <laughs> we'll get him. <laughs> little, little single tear rolls down. Make that British man pay. <laughs> I like, like his game reviewers, but that's about it. <laughs> his tear, his tear is just distilled whiskey. No. I just like let it drip into my glass and I drink it back up. <laughs> so we wait another day, and the entire time, uh, uh, Weldon is pooping while we do this. So <laughs> this is entire two days straight. He's, he's also then taking the poop and putting little titties all over it. All right, so day two. I've been at the bar for two days. Fuck! It's not going to work. I, I call up I call up Preston like, dude, I, there's no way we're going to find her. So Why don't, don't we just take the, we'll take the organ and then we'll come back at a later date and get the money from her after she's got it from the, from the insurance. All right, so That's what I want you to do... do. Here's uh, how much how much you think it would cost to, to hire one of your one of your contacts to to run um, fuck, what's the word I'm looking for um, a sta like stakeout on her place. Fuck cool. Um, should he roll like know. a streetwise thing, Dave? What well, what what are you after exactly? Wayne? I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I'm asking how her. much how much it would cost me. To, to, like, have him pay one of his dudes to, like, follow her around to know that if she, like, once she gets her money. Well, from what you know, there is no life insurance policy. 
It was cancelled when he left the um, Appleseed Bank. Oh, it was What oh. you guys were trying to do was reactivate it without anyone knowing so that you can claim his Oh, life. is that what we're trying to do? Oh, okay. That's why you needed a hacker. Yeah. Black Man was able to... Sorry, Weldon was able to find the information perfectly fine because that's publicly available. You just need to look pretty hard. But being able to reactivate a dead life insurance policy, that's okay. Different. Is there is there any way that we could like use his contacts to track her down versus him just searching? Well, hang on. The hacker? Oh, you are okay. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, he's he's using his That's what I've been doing for two days. I haven't been able uh, to get, get a hold of her. So nomads so. are especially hard to find unless yeah. they um want to be found like what you're known this is just more more time going by without us repoing and making money basically over just okay while chasing, well while while this is while this is happening dave could i hire some other teams you to can do, like middle middle tier work <clears throat> absolutely yeah okay so how do i do that uh well boss talk me and then I'll fast talk roll, his dick off, dude. I'll roll a one d four and see how many people you get out of it. Fast talk shit out of you. All right, Actually, I'll roll a one d six and we'll see how many people you can hire. Okay, so my fast talk is plus fifteen. Yep. And I tell you what, if you pass a if you pass a twenty, uh, I'll roll a one d four. If you pass a twenty five, I'll roll a one d six and we'll see how many people you hire at the minimum wage of two hundred. Uh, Euro bucks a month per person. Okay. All right. So what am I rolling? One D. What? You you want to roll fast talking? Just roll. Yes. Yeah, so let's, so let's your fast talking say... skill plus a one D ten. Okay, that's what I was asking for. One D ten. So one D ten plus we, fifteen. Yeah. Whenever we do a skill roll, that's basically what you need to roll. So twenty four. All right. So I'm Fuck. gonna roll one D four here. Um. So close to that one D six. All right. Ooh. You hire two people. Okay. God, that's not that many. <laughs> no, it's not. So um, mark down on your monthly expenses if you have one, a sheet. Uh, so your monthly expenses right now should be... I don't think uh, I have a monthly expenses portion. Yeah, so your monthly expenses should be um, BTE, uh, Wells, Weldon, and... Um, Dixon, what's your character's name again? Dresden. Dresden uh, for 800. And then uh, two goons for 200. Okay, uh, then I'll do squad one, 200. Yep. How's that look? Yeah, that's good. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. That works. Okay. All right, cool. So I, so I hired uh, some people, so we've still got some money. Yeah, let me, let me, let me clarify this a little more. Okay. All right. Cool. So the end of the month is coming up <laughs> in a week's time. So um. Uh, yeah. Jesus Christ, back man. I know. What the fuck? Like, I'm, I'm trying. His phone number so I can call. Him, make sure he's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. He passed out shitting, and now he like is like sitting on like downward facing dog. Yoga position, just passed out in his bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so what what else can Nick and I do? Either that, or his um, toilet is like outside, and he has to run through like a maze to get there, or something. Now, is is the nomad? Can I can I check to see if the nomad has ever had any CRS parts put in her? So maybe we can track her down via CRS databases or something. Uh, check. Hmm. I'm trying to think of like anything mm -hmm. to find. No, this that's that's uh, that's a nice way of looking for people. The thing is, though, uh, the only thing that you get, and you've seen it on the pink slips, the only things you get is um, because you know you need to have a an, or a place of stay, right? When you go for uh, when you go get one, uh, any sort of CRS organ. If you wanted to track down someone uh -huh. um, via that, then the only information you have. Which is why you guys are running into so many problems as a repo team, because the only information you have is a place of address, and that's just so what I'm saying. Starting. Can we can we use that, or can Dresden use that as a jumping off point to maybe get a better like roll score or something? Well, what you'll probably find is since you know that she's a nomad, um, that place is going to be fake. Yeah. 
So it's, it's it's a good idea. In fact, I'm gonna give you two IP for that idea. That's wow. that's how good that idea was. Nice. Jesus. Um, Sweet. Uh, by the way, Nick, you can have you can have four IP for the way that you cut that uh, block with your mono blade. By the way. Oh that's shit. Um, nice, dude. No, yeah, like out of the box thinking, I'm gonna reward straight up. Like that's that's some good shit right I there. I wasn't about to sit there and talk to some crackhead about drugs and shit. I got I, I got priorities, man. <laughs> okay, yeah, from, I got places. To be. <laughs> but it's, it's worth pointing out too that she was 100% coherent. She was not a user. You could tell that very easily. Um, she just seemed unfortunate. Um, you, gotta, you gotta tell us that stuff in the moment, because I thought she was also using as well. Well, she seemed pretty coherent when I was talking to her. I hoped that would be enough, but that's alright. Um, okay, so... Yeah, no, that was a good idea. Um, Nick, you got any more ideas? For finding people, yeah. No, not, not really. Which well, um... You do have a nomad contact you could try. Oh yeah, that's right. I have that squad, don't I? Yeah, you do. Oh shit! All right, can I call? It? Let me let me call them up. They're like a kill streak for you. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling in the nomads. All right, good shit. <laughs> Jesus right. Christ! I wonder what Nick's been playing lately, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me let me let me call up the nomads and see if they can track her down. Yeah, sure. Who are you calling from your nomad? Uh, I am gonna call. Fuck, wait, where were their, where were their names? Um, it's on your life path, I believe. Yeah, I'm looking. Uh, I'm gonna call Rat McGonagall. So he the was leader, the, the leader of the Nomads. He was the leader. Yeah, all right. So all right, you give him a call. <laughs> Rat's the one that I'm closest with. <laughs> okay. Um, after a few rings, it uh, picks up, and he's like. Well, fuck me silly. Mr. Mayflower! Rat you old STD, how you doing? Yeah, we were alright, we were alright. Hey listen, I, I really want to thank you for the uh, for the implants you did on uh, on Barfley. He really appreciates it. Hey, hey. The motherfucker got... was like, whew, he was so close to cocking it, you know what I mean? Hey, you're my guy, say it, you're my guy. I, I'm your guy. <laughs> That's right. I take care of my guys. You know that. Listen, uh, Rat, the reason I'm calling is I'm trying to track down a nomad. Wanted to see if you guys knew her. Her name is... What's her name? Sonia. What's the last name? Fairchild? Was it? No. What was it? it? Sonia something. Uh, it was Sonia... Um... Why did I keep fucking closing this shit? <laughs> uh, uh, those guys won't ever use it again. Clearly. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, Randolph. So their name's Sonia Randolph. Uh, could you could you check check with your crew see if anybody knows her? Hmm. Uh, yeah. Um. Hmm. Maybe just uh, give me a couple hours. I'll see what I can do. You know nomads, they just fucking do whatever they want anyway, so I can ask around, but that's about it. All right, champ. Sounds All good. Right. Uh, Let's base I'll... this on a fast-talking chick. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what, if you get a 25, it'll, Damn, he'll find it. But if you find cool. a 20, uh, it's going to be... He, he'll, he'll get it to you in a couple of days. Okay. All right. All right. So fast-talking is 15. So 1d10 plus 15? Mm-hmm. Come on, baby. Fucking do it! Fuck! Yeah. All right. So he's he's like, yeah, I can uh, ask around, but uh, give me a couple of days. All right, champ. Sounds good. Give my give my regards to the rest of the guys. Yeah, you got it. And then he hangs up. Click. Uh, so yeah, in a couple of days you'll have the contact details or the fresh contact details for Sonia Sonia um, Randolph. And yeah. Okay. Uh, so that is your call for the Nomad Pack for the month. Okay. Um, they won't answer any more calls. <laughs> well, they will, but they will expect something in return. Okay. That's like my one free one, essentially. You get one free one a month. Sort of thing. Like, okay, uh, so I can still call that's... them, but I just gotta, I gotta grease the wheels a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so, uh... 
I don't know what to do. I guess while we're <laughs> while we're waiting while we're waiting for bike, is there some go like those quick slips and look for yeah? Because uh, there's is there like a quick thing that just Nick and I can do? Uh, yeah, you, you can go try. get drunk. Yeah, That's maybe true. like a character building thing. So, all right, so the pink <laughs> slips. Um, if you take a look, um, the documented income is high as is is rich super high high moderate low and lowest uh it also like it's also worth pointing out that the scale is sort of like both ways so if you go super low you can expect like gangs that sort of shit like, <laughs> gotcha. like really hardcore shit and if you go super high you're expecting hardcore security Right, so right. that's sort of like moderate is sort of like the if I were to is it's sort of like the safe zone for finding stuff that's sort of easy enough to accomplish in a couple hours. So okay, all right, so we're gonna go. I'm gonna hand I'm gonna hand Dresden one of the pink slips, and I'm gonna say, what do you think about uh, Emery M Noriega? Well, what one is that on the? That's a female moderate. Emery. Yeah, I clicked yeah. it. I'm just trying to get the name. It's yeah. like four down into the moderate. Oh, I see. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Uh, so you're looking over the pink slip here. Um, I'll just pull up her particular mission. I've got a mission for each one of these dudes. Jesus. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Excuse me. Hang on a sec. My phone's ringing. One sec. I don't know why. It might be important. <laughs> I don't know why. My phone is ringing. <laughs> this has never happened before. I've never, I've never gotten a phone call before. <laughs> How do I answer it? <laughs> He's just he like puts it up upside down like hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, so I figure we can knock out like a quick. Uh, a quick, like, moderate one, just the two of us. Yeah. Do some fucking character building. Okay, so you, you guys want to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so... Okay, here is the pink slip. Uh, for... Emery. Um, I'll get you. Okay, there you go. <laughs> okay. So Emily M. Noriega, female, uh, she's on file, it says she's up in Newton. She's got, uh, spleen, stomach, uh, for the, the new super model of the spleen, and a silver model for her stomach. Uh, she's got the gold tier insurance, um, she's got maintenance level silver, and she's got rehab checkups, so, she... It looks like she owes us about 16k. We'll call it like 16.2k. What do you think about this one, Dresden? In and out job? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think me and BT can take care of this. All right, sounds good. Let's uh let's leave Weldon to uh to continue to track down our hacker while we we're, we're going to take this one. Okay. So uh yeah. Tell me how you guys uh go about it. Cool, okay. What cool, cool um, part of town are they located in again? Newton. So Newton is, um, if you take a look at the map on the actual page, uh, to the, it's basically to the left, just outside of uh, West Hill Gardens. It's sort of like outside the combat zone. So the way that it works in Cyberpunk is the combat zone is literally like skyscrapers as far as the eye can see, just <laughs> everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. And then outside of the combat zone, it's literally suburbia. Like, literally, like, tiny little two-story, three-story houses. Sort of right. Mm -hmm. Like, just the smallest, like, just the biggest change in, like, literally, like, if you were to... You know how you walk through, like, a, like a, a super mall or a mall or something like that? And it's, like, fucking blazing hot outside. Then you walk inside and it's nice and cool. Right, right, right. That's what it's like l going outside the combat zone. You go from, mm -hmm. like, super cool, even though the combat zone is dangerous as fuck, to just blazing hot on the outside. Gotcha. Mm. And and outside the combat zone is where you find a lot of the nomads, where you find a lot of like people who are super poor sort of thing. 
Alright, hold on. I'm gonna take a screenshot of the city and put it in the chat so people can see That's the map. That's a good idea. Alright, so we, uh, we hop in our hoopty, and, uh, bike man's in the trunk pooping. <laughs> 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 All right, I, knock on, I knock on the bathroom well. door and I'm like, hey, we're gonna go repo some organs without you. No big deal. You get paid for it and everything, but uh, seriously, dude, see a doctor about this. Like, goddamn. Get a new stomach and It's just silence. It's silence in the bathroom. He's not saying anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we, get, we get the car. I'll, I'm driving and we, we, we head out of, uh, out, of the, out of the combat zone into sub suburbia. All right, so you drive over to Newton, and the first thing you notice about Newton uh, is that there's literally no street signs for any of the streets. The fuck? Like, the, the poles are there, but <laughs> someone has come <laughs> along and just gone, yeah, uh, take that, fucking walk away with it, you know? <laughs> they just fuck off. Yeah, just fuck off with it, man. Like, that's all they do. Um, that sounds great. Yeah, so, um, what are you guys going to do? I mean, there's, uh... There's GPS. Um, oh yeah, don't we have fucking GPS at this point? You got, you got gadgets. No. Are you, you kidding me? There's gadgets. no GPS. <laughs> it's the future 80s, man! That's true, it is the future 80s, but no GPS. Fuck. Okay, right, uh, um... Street smart, Tristan? Yeah, it's, I, I, uh, do, do I see any like do I see any like people like hanging out outside that? <laughs> oh yeah, no, <laughs> you see you see people you can ask and stuff like that. All right, I pull over, I wave over someone. I see. All right, so uh, there's two gentlemen standing there. Hey, we're looking for uh, what was the address again? Uh, one second. <laughs> I just gotta uh, sure. The address is 48 Ethics Ave in Newton. Yeah, we can't really find Ethics Avenue. Uh, we're looking for number 48. Just <laughs> to know. We can't. We can't find our ethics. There's uh, no signs. You guys took them all. Yo, motherfucker, you looking for ethics? Is that what's up? Yo, dog, this guy's looking for ethics. He's like, I ain't heard of no fucking ethics. You heard of ethics? Nah, man, I ain't heard of ethics at all. And he <laughs> basically these two guys. <laughs> they're, they're fucking mad dogging you. So what's happening right now, out of game, out of character, um, mm -hmm. is this is they're, what we they're, call... They're punking me. That's what they're doing. They're trying to punk this, me. Yeah, this is what we call a face-off. All right. So yeah. the way that a face-off works is, um, basically, you roll against your cool and your reputation versus their roll and their reputation. All right. Okay, so I have a high-ass cool. So basically, uh, uh, so basically, <laughs> the way that it works is like positive reputation is good inside of like corporate zones and corporate influences and stuff like that. Negative yeah. reputation is good for like streets right. and gangs and whatnot. So who wants to do the face off here? I'll let you guys decide between. Uh, what's your cool level? My cool is six, and I have a negative one reputation. Which means mine... that it's good for streets and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so mine is cool of six, and where's my rep again? It's down underneath your uh, skills. Down underneath my skills. Oh, my rep is zero. Okay, so you should probably roll this, Nick. Yeah, I'll roll it. Okay. okay. Uh, so let's see here. Okay. <coughs> Oof. Okay. Fuck. Yeah, I don't like that laugh. Yeah, I don't. I don't like. The All way right. You just did. Uh, give me a roll. Of. Uh, you're cool with your rep. So in this case, it's a positive. You count it as a positive. So it's plus one. So it'll be seven. And then a. Oh. And then yeah. So it's seven. Yep. And then. Just tell plus... me the dice roll and the number I gotta roll. Seven. You have all my info. Uh, one d ten plus seven. One. I'm go. trying to I'm trying to educate you guys so I don't have to fucking do it every time. But well, you're going to have to. You're probably gonna have to. Do it every time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's not bad. They're very good, yeah, but uh, he rolled a 10, and he Motherfucker! Had, and his reputation is negative 4. Oh, like, fuck! Oh, what the fuck? Gang affiliation. So, God basically, damn. what happens is, like, you're the first to break eye contact in this fucking mad dog contest. That's basically <laughs> what it looks like. So, like, oh. you're looking at each other, and you just sort of, like, blink and look down a little bit, and he's like, ah, you fucking bitch. All right. I tell you what. 
Our mouths over here will probably move a little faster if you grease it. And look at that uh, fucker in the back there. He looks like a rich dick. Can Tell I you what, talk? you make it work. Uh, make it worth our while. You give us four hundred bucks. <laughs> Euro bucks, and we'll tell you where this ethics avenue is. <laughs> I'm gonna fast. Can I fast talk them down to like 50 bucks? Um, hmm, how do we work in a rev? Uh, okay, give me a let, let, let's see if you can. So, the only way you can do this is if he respects you, right? So, this is this is what the, the face off is, or, or if you, I mean, you can roll an intimidate maybe, but I doubt you'll fucking. Yeah, so it. basically no, the thing is like can't can I just like charm his fucking pants off? You can charm his pants off with money. Yeah. No, but I'm saying like talk him down to where he likes me so much that he's like, eh, he's never gonna this like you, dude. This so is gonna like, be that's super the thing, he's never gonna like you because you're corporate. Yeah, huh. so corporate is like super fucking like you're good in the corporate zone, right? You'd be good versing like rich okay. people and stuff like that. But when you're versing gang people and people of like who have reputations that are in the negative, you're at a severe disadvantage. Which is why you have people like Dresden in your team, right? Because he's he's the exact opposite of what. Why'd you, you have to look away, Dresden? God damn it! <laughs> Sorry, um, man. This guys are so scared. All right. So what? <laughs> I mean, what can I do here? Can I also? You can. You can. You can do a face off. And if you do better than them, because it does come down to a roll, right? Uh, if you do better than them, then, you know, you just, will like, scare them enough to just be like, okay, okay. You will then be able to do fast talking. You'd be able to, like, sort of win them over with your salesman pitch, you know? Okay, that's, yeah. all right, fuck, but, fuck it, let's try it. All right, give me a uh, 1d10 plus 5 because you have a negative 1. Oh, no, 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 you, no, you just have 1d6, yeah, you don't have a yeah, negative. so 6, 1d10 plus 6, right? Yep. Okay, big box. Right, Fuck good. me. Yeah, so good. Please work, please work, please work, please work. Low roll, low roll, low roll, low roll. Okay. You know, yeah, so he he looks down at you and he goes, Who the fuck are you supposed to be? And yeah, then it worked! To step back a little bit. He fucking respects you and I- Oh my god. Yeah! Bullshit. Suck it, Nick! <laughs> fucking bullshit. It's the no, okay, suit, so baby. It's so, the suit. So you you sort of get the the feeling that he's sort of thinking that you're a cop. A little okay. bit. Um, so maybe can roll I, that. Can I do a perception check to see if he'll run if he does think I'm a cop? Give me a perception human, I think. The skill okay, called. human perception is 11. All right, so this is a twenty check. Okay, what what one d ten plus eleven? One d ten plus eleven with a DC of twenty. Yeah. Wait, what? Yes, yeah, so you need to roll a twenty or higher on your on this check. Fuck me. So you need to get a nine or higher, basically. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah. What'd you get? Twenty one. So Ooh. I would I would definitely tread carefully with what you say to this guy because if you fucking put the fear of God in him, he will he will rabbit. it. Okay. Alright. Um there's two of them there. Yes, there's two of them. Okay. But there is um, one guy that's clearly doing all the talking. There's like a like a guy behind him being like sort of like a hype man, sort of like, you know. Doing the gang lean or whatever, trying to look tough, but Okay. I'm just gonna uh I'll what should I say to this guy? Uh I'm gonna say li listen, listen to you. Or uh, uh <laughs> li listen to me, homie. I'm I'm down with the streets. Okay? <laughs> I get it. I'm with the struggle. You look I, up I, at his face, it looks it looks quizzical at this point. And he's just yeah. like, Wait, you not a cop? I'd be like, Hell no, I'm not a cop. Do you think a cop can afford this suit? Come on, baby. Let he, he looks at his friend and he, he sort of like he comes up close to you and he goes, "Yeah, man." And he like lifts up your like your your suit jacket and sort of looks at the tag and goes, "Shit, I don't even know what this is." And he like starts to take off your jacket a little bit. What do you do? So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna slowly I'm gonna kind of like pat his hand and like so, slowly move it away with with like a fifty dollar bill folded up in his hand and I go, "Listen, let's be, let's let's uh." Let's exchange some some let's exchange some information here. Can you tell me where we need to go? We're on kind of a timetable, and there could be another one of those in it for you if you can get us out of here on time. What do you say? Tell you what, 
and you double what you're going to give me, and I won't take that code of yours. Uh, is there a way that Dresden can kind of flash his guns or something like that? Yeah, you flash like, your guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're trying not to be a guns <laughs> right now. Yeah, but I'm Sorry. not trying to get the, let this guy take my so, fucking coat. I gotta you've show got him. You got fucking fifty of them, man. So here's the thing. Um, he's simply asking for money, um, and you're more than capable of giving him the the amount that he wants. The other thing is, if you flash your gun, that's going to escalate the situation considerably. Yeah. So, um, either you have a couple options here. Either you give in to his demands, or I will let you do another fast talking check. But you got to be hella convincing uh, in order to try and stop. Because basically, what you did was he had he was he had you pegged for a cop. He wasn't going to mug a okay, cop. Okay. All right. All right. The I got moment an idea. you said now, idea. now, right. now he knows that you're not a cop, so he's going to mug this shit out of all you. All right. I got an idea. I got an idea. Uh, let me let me do another fast talk. Okay, go for is it the same same thing? No, but you got to fast talk first, and then I'll say whether. Or okay, not. all right. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say. Uh, listen, if you take my coat, you're gonna have to answer to my my organization. Have you ever heard of the the East Third Fifty Fourthers? I'm sorry. What you say? Yeah, that's what I thought. Listen, son. If if you don't want your entire block to get absolutely taken over, you're gonna have to work with me right now. He like uh, what, you don't, what you don't know is we've got about eight cars behind us that are in a convoy that are gonna be moving some very heavy product. And if you don't get out of my way right now, this situation's gonna get a lot worse. What I can do, I can give you 50 more Euro bucks right now. No Sorry. skin off either our backs. Maybe we'll toss a little business your way later on. But you gotta be show. You gotta show me that you're you're smart enough to take this deal. Okay, so he sort of leans back to his friend when you're talking. When you make that veiled threat about six cars, and he goes, "He whispers something. You can't really pick it up." And then, actually, you have ears, right? No, you. Have yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, have. I have super ears. All right. Uh, what does your ears do? Let's take a look uh, here, real quick. So my ears. Voice stress analyzer, sound editing, basic hearing module. Okay. So uh, a conversation, and I can tell. Right, if give me a lying. human perception, and give me a plus two on your normal perception roll. Okay, so it'll be a plus thirteen. So one d ten plus thirteen. Yeah, and you need a you need a twenty to pass this. <laughs> yeah, bitch. All right, there we go. So basically, you hear you hear him say, "Yo, deal with this." And then, as you do that, as he does that, the other guy like sort of leaps around the corner and takes a photo of your face with his camera, and then he starts texting. What are you gonna do? Um, no pictures, no pictures. <laughs> you're you're free to do something as well, Bikeman. Uh, sorry, Nick, you wanna do something? Yeah, Nick, fucking speak up. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I see the guy take a picture. Like, a, like, what the fuck's that, dude? Ah, I'm just looking at it from my favorite pictures, man. Don't worry, babe. And then he like finished sending the it. Picture back. you just took of this man you've never met before is one of your favorite pictures. No, shut just the be fuck real up, with me. Man. I'm shut gonna the use it. I'm using And then he like pulls out a uh he pulls out a piece from okay. his side. I'm gonna I'm gonna intimidate him. Sure. Uh so the way that intimidate works in this one, you're gonna need a um You're gonna need to get like some leverage over him, right? Mm-hmm. What what are you doing in in terms of trying I'm opening, to? Opening, I, I open my jacket to show that giant AR that I have. So may, maybe what you do is you sort of like put the AR like on the top because I imagine you're still in the car, right? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, I forgot about so, that. In the car. So so you pull out and basically the top of the AR sort of leans on the top of the door frame, mm -hmm. sort of thing, and you go. Okay, that's a nice gun or something like that, you know, yeah, like. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's like, <laughs> oh, that's a cute little t-shirt you got there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Um, all right. Give me a intimidate, and I will give you uh, a plus two for the sake of the fact that you have a much larger gun, and he is very, very close. So one d ten plus uh, uh, thirteen. Yeah. And this is going to be a fifteen to pass. There you Ooh. go. Look at that shit. All right, so he uh, he looks back at his friend. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> uh, he looks back at his friend. He goes, 
Yo, dog. These, ma these guys are packing, man. What are we doing? It's like, calm your fucking ass down. Right, you already called the boys. They're on their way. Yo, you guys are fucked. And then they start backing off. All right, I fucking peel out. <laughs> Eric's standing on the side of the road. He's like, that, Yo, when did he get out of the car? That never happened. Did he get out of the car? I didn't get out of the car. Yeah, no, we were in the car the entire time. That's why I was wondering how he was fucking reaching in and grabbing. I, I imagine he got out of the car. Sorry. Uh, anyway, okay. all right. If he didn't get out of the car. <laughs> Damn it, uh, Nick, I was gonna try, I was gonna, <laughs> the next move was I was gonna try to use one of my sleep dart, like, dick sleep darts, <laughs> and kidnap this guy. <laughs> that was the next move. Sorry, I really, really had to poo. Oh, oh my man, God. there it's he is. 50 minutes I, later. I fell 50. in. <laughs> I hope that's true. We left on a job and left you in the toilet at the bar. Great. <laughs> uh, we can we can retcon it and say that he's in the car if you want. It's yeah, gonna be yeah. one of those be here at five o'clock in the toilet written on the wall, and I look at the watch and it's like, oh god, what? And the guy comes in. Five thirty. <laughs> Go shit. to a happy place. You, you hear a little sound and like a hole gets punched in the wall next to you, and you're like, uh. <laughs> but yeah, okay. sorry about that. Now my dad showed up and I had to be like, hey. <laughs> oh, that's all good. I'm kind of pooping and playing a game at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All so right. okay. Well, did you get you got did you get out of the car or not? Let's 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 rewind a bit. All right. What what? I'll leave it up to you guys. Did I get out of the car or did I not? I'm gonna say you got out of the car in order to do like the stand down that you did. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Because um, inside a car, that's fucking weird. So Nick, can you can you point your giant gun at this guy while I try to whip my dick out and fire off a shot to put this guy to sleep? All right. Well, I'm gonna point at the other guy behind yeah. him. Yeah. He pointed at whoever he wants. Are we rolling initiative? Should we just roll initiative? Uh, I will let, I will let you guys have one round on top of these guys because they're backing off. Okay. Okay. Cool. Am I going to show up in a taxi at some point or what's that? No, no, no. <laughs> just, we, we just retcon that you're in the car. So. Oh, uh, okay. Just in the back of the car. Yeah, you're like in the on back. Your, of you're like on my laptop, fucking around. Yeah. Um, Yo, I go with so who, who gets to take a shot first? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking light that dude up. Uh, well, let's roll initiative between you two, and then these two can come in later, so. Okay. All right, so where's my initiative? Should be on your page, then. Uh, Just under your, uh, your wound stuff. Under my wound stuff. Ooh, perfect. Hey! So your initiative, Eric, is eight. Okay, Ooh. so what is it? 1d10 plus eight? Mm-hmm. Okay. Fuck. Uh, Mr. Dresden Wrecker, you can go first. All right, well, I got the the fucking assault rifle. Uh, is it does it help that it's leaned against that I'm like leaning it on the like fucking window sill? Does that add at accuracy or no? Or is that not a factor? I'll give you a plus one for aiming. All nice. Right. So I'm 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 Ooh. gonna light up the dude behind the guy that was uh trying to steal steal his coat, the one that took the picture. You just gonna light him up? Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, what do you, one shot. You can do. You can do one shot. Uh, what? Actually, what's your rifle skill? Uh, you got a thingy, didn't you? I got a no. No, well, you didn't. no, we didn't do that. It's it's plus four, I think. Yeah, plus four. Plus four. Okay, so divide that by two. Oh, you don't actually have any skills in rifles, so no, you can't do that. Okay. Um, so it only counts for your skill, not for your um. Reference reflex. Okay, gotcha. Um, so yeah, you can do one shot. You can do semi-automatic. We can do full auto. Uh, let's do semi. So like semi three is round burst. so three round burst. Yeah. Um. Okay. So what you roll is you got this. Uh, one d ten plus eight, and you'll need a ten, obviously. So nice, because you're at close range. This dude. You got it. You got a ten. I got that. 10. All right. So for burst fire, I need you. Hang on a second. Uh. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so three bullets hit this dude. Ooh. Um, I need you to roll your damage. So your damage on your rifle is uh, five d six. Five d six. So right, five d six, and then press up three times. Okay. Ooh, that last oh, shot though. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> that guy is oh, toast. Seven. Ouch. So that's a right leg. 
That guy should be. So you get for taking dead. pictures of my friends, dude. You don't just oh, dude. snap a photo. You just you basically shoot this motherfucker. He's so loyal. You shoot his right leg off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Lieutenant uh, Dan. <laughs> Ice cream. Right, Ice cream. Right. Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so can I just point the scene? So basically, you just. Yeah, let me work out whether you shoot him or not. Alright, so penis. basically, you just go. You put. The, you, it's on the top of the, the, the car, right? So imagine this is the car thing here. And then you, and then you just kind of just like. Like that. And. <laughs> You cut off both of his legs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so so basically, you look over this dude. He's wearing shorts, right? Right. You basically just blast his legs off from the knees down. <laughs> Does he land perfectly, like, <laughs> on the fucking little stumps? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, his, so basically, he needs... To, he's got to do a cool check, like a monumental cool check right now. Yeah. yeah, he needs to do a monumental body checker. He just flat out dies. So, um. Fuck. Hey guys! Preston, you didn't leave my leg to stand on. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to play this game, <laughs> make sure you armor the fuck up because you're gonna die. <laughs> you don't. You're gonna just flat out die if you don't. Um, I didn't expect you guys to actually fight these dudes. So. <laughs> uh, well, they shouldn't yeah. have been fucking fronting like that. Goddamn. Yeah, you can't step. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they can step all they want, but you guys are going to be dealing with a... Well, he's not going to be stepping much anymore. A couple. <laughs> <laughs> he's not going to be stepping uh, on much of anything. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, sorry. Uh, I'm trying to look for death roll here. Nick, do you have, like, a cool, like, 80s, 80s phrase that you'd yeah, say? Yeah, like, a shoot of his legs pop off, and I'm like, man, I can't stand paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, Ew, I love it. This guy needs to roll. All right. <laughs> Awful. Fucking goddammit. Wait, why does he have to roll? Don't I get something? <laughs> no, no, no. He has to roll to save himself from dying. Oh, oh, from yeah. like bleeding out. It's your turn next. Uh, so he needs I, to I roll. I want to kidnap this guy too. I'm kind of in, I'm on board with that that whole idea. He needs Let's to roll a, a, a one through four. If he does, uh, no, uh, yeah, one through four. If he doesn't, then he dies. Oh, oh he's good. He's he goes. And he goes, ah! <laughs> and he's just like, ah! Ah! And he just like, <laughs> the bone. Yeah. Um, and he just sort of falls back. Um, I'm going to do another check here to see if he rolls a stun. So he needs an eight or less. Okay, he's good. He doesn't pass that. He just sort of screams. Um, I, I'll let him. I'll let him live with that. Uh, Eric, your turn. If you want to do something now. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna whip my dick gun out and just whoop and try to just hit him with a sleep dart. Oh, All right. Jesus. So we decided earlier that um, the way that it works in this game is that it takes you a whole turn <laughs> to set up a masturbation shot, and then you can uh, shoot it on your next turn. So here's what's gonna happen. He's gonna jump into initiative now. So you just. What happens is you whip out your dick, um, and you start beating it, right? Start beating it, and give me a um, masturbation <laughs> check here. Okay, so my masturbation yeah. skill is so remember, yeah, it's a it's seven. a it's a seven. So you need to roll a one d ten plus seven. You need to get a ten or higher. Yeah, nice. <laughs> okay, right. super good at masturbating. I hate this stupid <laughs> thing. It keeps, it, every time you guys you guys roll, it scrolls all the way up, and I keep forgetting to. Yeah. Uh, Hold so, yeah, uh, you, you whip out your dick, you start, you start jerking it, um, and, uh, now he's gonna roll for initiative to see where he lands, because you might just be able to go straight away. Um, okay, okay. So, initiative. Come on, eight. fuck it up. Dick gun, baby, it's happening! Dick gun. Dick gun! <laughs> it's finally happening. Uh, reflex, huh? Okay. Okay, 1d10 plus 2. All right, so you rolled a 10. So, uh, Eric, I believe you get to go first. Yeah! No, wait, no, sorry, addiction. Oh, me? Oh, okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, I guess I, I, sh I shall shoot the fucking legless dude again. <laughs> again? Uh, I've already yeah. got no legs. <laughs> if you want to, yeah. He's do, you just want to off, do a one, do you just want to do a one shot, or do you want to do a... Yeah, I'll do a single, single shot. Okay, give me a... Uh, 
1d10 plus 4, I think it was for you. Also, Bike, you're here. You can go, like, grab his phone or something like that. Oh, uh, do you want to jump into this initiative, or do you want to sit this one out? Uh, yeah, definitely. Jump in. Okay, so roll me an initiative check. All right, what was Actually, the dice? I got 12 on that shot, by the way. Yeah, cool. It's a 1d10 plus your initiative score. It's on your page. So. Uh, initiative is... <laughs> Where the fuck is the initiative? It's on, it's on the... Oh, there's plus five. All right, plus five. Plus five. Plus five will go west. Eleven. Alright, so what'd you you rolled a five on yours? Alright, so BTE then you uh, <laughs> What was the roll for the other guy? He got a twelve, right? So actually no, he goes Yeah, so the bad guy, that guy will go there. Okay. So he goes Nick, Eric, gang member, BTE then bike. Okay. Okay, uh, so now the gang, uh, now it's your turn. Oh, wait, no, you rolled damage, didn't you? So, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you hit, you, you only needed a 10. Oh, okay. uh, let's see where you hit him. A four. Base. Is Base. Four. Definitely not his leg. You got him in the torso, <laughs> so. Um, Good sucking chest wound. All right, cool. All right, give me a, uh, 5d6. Well, all right. So basically, it um, you shoot him, but he just sort of like gets pushed backwards, sort of thing, and falls on his back. But he's still screaming. Okay. Basically, the bullet sort of bounced off his chest. What? Yep. He might have Kevlar armor in the middle. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you're like, what he's the wearing fuck? shorts. So. Yeah, he's wearing shorts, but he's also wearing a jacket. Uh, uh, of that. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm okay leaving him there to, to to slowly bleed out eventually. I don't. Not if he's got his friends. Uh, Life. Now he's going to he's going to make a save versus death. Right, he Die. passes. Fuck. Oh, resilient motherfucker. Yeah. Real. Uh, but he is going to go up a wound level now, so it's going to be harder for him to do this. So basically, you can see like blood pooling at it around his stumpy legs now, um, <laughs> and his his color is draining from his face. <laughs> uh, Eric, tell me about your dick, man. All right. Well, my dick, my dick is at full IRL. It's full mass. The sails <laughs> yeah. have been hoisted. I imagine you're one of those guys that like to uh, hold your breath while you ejaculate, so that uh, or when you jack off, so it comes out faster. Yes, that's what's happening. Like a sniper. <laughs> like I'm holding my breath to aim my shot. Yeah, you, you use your uh, your neck lemon wedge in his mouth to like fucking choke you a little bit when you do it. You're like, <laughs> look, I'm pulling down on my tie with one hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah, sure. All right. So now I'm going to I'm going to I guess I'll roll, I'll roll the fire. So it was reflex plus your masturbation skill of 1 plus a 1d10. Oh fuck. So my masturbation skill is 7 and my reflex. reflex is 5. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't add the 7, you add the 1. You're only adding the skill to this, not the Wait, So what? 7 7 includes your cool skill. So you're only adding your level of masturbation, which is 1. <laughs> Oh, so it would be a six then. For my so reason. yeah, with your reflex plus your level of uh, masturbation, which is one. So five plus one. <laughs> plus and six. then a one d ten. Yep. <laughs> so one d ten plus six. Yep, and he's within he's within like grabbing distance, so okay. he's close, Four. so you need to pass a ten. Fourteen. Okay, yeah, no. Uh, tell me about the missile you shoot out of your dick. So I shoot a uh, <laughs> I shoot a a newly su newly developed super potent like it's like a chloroform sleep dart that gets immediately injected like straight like into his neck like the the art like the what's the what's the carotid artery in his neck mm. the, is that what it's called the it neck just goes, artery it just just straight in there and auto injects and so he's like motherfucker, and just passes out <laughs> and so as i'm Don't shooting i'm just like I, I hold my breath i'm just like <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what the code word is to uh, shoot out a sleep missile from the dick. Um, I just I look at him dead in the eyes, and as I'm screaming, and as I'm screaming, I'm like I'm like I'm close. Time to go night night. And then it's just and the moment, <laughs> it, the moment the it says fuck? and the moment it says <laughs> night night, I hear <laughs> and then it's like it changes the cartridge to the proper dart and just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, so basically what happens is we see this dude. Um, 
the, the little the little gang members are like, yo, what you say? You shut the fuck up, man! And then you're just like, that's a nice little pea shooter you got there. And you basically cut off his legs. Eric like fucking throws his trench coat back. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Preston throws his trench coat back, grabs his fly, pulls it down. His cock flops out. He starts fucking beating it while mad dogging this guy. Um, <laughs> I'm just like the other gang member. Like, yeah. <laughs> the other gang member is like, "Yo, man, what the fuck you doing with your dick? Yo, <laughs> oh, man, what the fuck you doing with your dick?" And then you're just like, "Time to go night night." And then like, basically, everyone sees Shazam. like the top of uh, Preston's dick, sort of like. So if this is his dick, right? His dick goes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> his, dick goes, his, his dick goes. <laughs> And like sort of the, the the top the knob part like explodes open, <laughs> and a missile uh, like a little tiny thing about yay big, which is like fucking huge if you have it in a dick right. But yeah. like it flies out and it goes straight into your neck and you hear this <laughs> as it like gets auto injected because there's an injector pressure valve inside of the the dart, <laughs> and he's like, yo motherfucker, what did you hit me with? <laughs> and then he like. <laughs> Falls down and he just You're lands crazy, on top of his man. friend. You crazy. Um, You're crazy, man. Which which kills his friend. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened? He falls backwards onto his friend, who you struck backwards. <laughs> oh my god! And he crushes his friend, and because you know it basically he didn't have he was he was clinging onto life, right? He was oh. he was fucking claws and nails trying to not not die, and then his big friend falls on him fucking kills him. Amazing. <sighs> and so I look back at the car like my dick's still in my hand. I look back and I catch Dreads in the eye and I go, Dresden, grab him! <laughs> and I'm just like... I'm just like, so I, put the, I, put, I, like I scramble, I grab the fucking right. Like, well, why? Why? What are we doing? Put him in the back of the car. We're gonna fucking interrogate this motherfucker. For what? He's gonna tell us where we need to go. So uh, BP comes oh, out and like I... helps you like carry this guy into like the trunk of the car. I imagine it's a case of like you know you whip. BT like comes prepared. She whips out the duct tape. She like duct tapes his hands and his mouth and his eyes and, th <laughs> and like you both throw him in the trunk of the car and you peel out. And just as you're rounding the corner, you see like four cars come around the corner, all park up, and they get out and go. Yo, where the motherfuckers go? And that's all you hear as you like, uh, <laughs> as you drive off. So, did Wel did Weldon grab his phone? Did you yeah. grab his phone? Oh yeah, nice. Okay. No more you photos of you. Sir I was Lee all over that it. boobless phone. Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, you've got a destroyed dick, uh, a kidnapped gang member, and a phone covered in someone's blood. What are you guys doing? Where are you going? Tell me about this. All right, so uh, we gotta we gotta find like a safe place to interrogate this fucking guy. How about before we do that, we take another break? Well, it's almost time. Yeah, to... he's gotta leave. At yeah, all right, time. It's time to end. We, we might as well end it here. Well, no, Wait, we that's can a nice going. cliffhanger, dude. That's a fucking hell of a cliffhanger. It's a pretty good cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you want to do that? All right, that's cool. Yeah. So yeah, there we go. Uh, so what turned into a simple yo give us two hundred. 400 credits. It was supposed to be a side quest that we could do while we waited for Bike Man, <laughs> and it Oops. turned into uh, so I've had, <laughs> kidnapping, I've had, murder. I've had, I've had a lot of people, a lot of my GM friends come to me and say, that game's really good, but your your car your players are going to fucking destroy whatever story you throw in front of them. And I'm like, I don't think they'll do it that bad. <laughs> One, a destroyed penis later. <laughs> well, that was supposed to happen. Okay, that was written into the script. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens, man. I know. I was like, I was just asking for fucking directions, and we ended up. I ended up brutally murdering a dude. You jerked oh, off in public do. and and fucking incapacitated another guy. Uh, hey man, and that's we, what we basically started a a uh, a gang war between two gangs, one of which doesn't actually exist. <laughs> What did you call them? The the, the thirty eight like, bit. Hold on, let me scroll up. It was like Someone the seventh. It was like the thirty. It was like the what was it? 
fuck? It was like the East 54th Street 3rd 4thers? The or East 54thers or some shit like that. <laughs> Does anybody in the chat remember what I named these fucking guys? It was oh just like, God. I was like, what could be a, a menacing but vague gang name? I forgot to swap screens to the stat screen when we were doing uh, uh whatever dude whatever. it's happened happen so quickly it's not a big deal <laughs> um uh, so yeah that was a, the, that was a the, he's third 50 54thers yeah <laughs> he's third 54thers <laughs> <laughs> that if that if that doesn't go on a t-shirt at some point I don't know why we, we, we didn't just hire someone to fucking sketch out, like, a courtroom, you know, like, sketch her, like, all this crazy fucking shit we're doing in this oh game. Oh, my God. If you guys want to do fan art, go ahead. Yeah, if you want it, you want something, you're, you're running out of inspiration for your next art piece, here you go. <laughs> fucking you're an exploding art dicks. And, uh, that <laughs> fucking bike man's character pooping for 45 minutes straight. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, this will be the last episode until uh, two weeks from now. Uh, I'm going to be at PAX next oh, Thursday. Yeah, yep, so, same here. Yeah, the week, the Thursday after that, back to the normal time, 6 p.m. You know, if I was going to PAX, would you boys want to play in person? Uh, I had to cancel PAX. I couldn't afford it. Yeah, I, I'm not going, but if I was going, we should. I would play in person, yes. We should try to see if we can I do mean, this live at TwitchCon. Oh my god. <laughs> That'd be cool. That'll be fantastic. Yeah. Um so yeah, let's uh everyone who isn't me <laughs> it's shout, 99 shout, time. <laughs> shout yourselves out. Starting with uh Dave, go ahead and shout yourself out. Oh uh, hey, hey everyone. My name is Dave, aka Henley on Twitch. I'm a I'm a, a tabletop RPG streamer. Uh we, we have like four games that we run over on my channel. We in a series called Die Party. And uh so tomorrow we have a game. It's called uh, Deep Black. It's a Stars Without Numbers naval military campaign. Uh, and then on Saturday, we have a World of Darkness game called uh, Sin Eaters, which is about us having ghost dudes, Caspers, on our backs. And then, as well as Saturday, because Saturday we two play two games back to back, we have another game called Atuve Demetrion, which I'm going to uh, unveil my new character. Atuve Demetrion's like a, um, you know, uh, standard fantasy, typical fantasy RPG with a custom rule set. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed Cyberpunk, man. I mean, it's fucking awesome shit that I get to run for you guys. And uh, you know what? I really like, I really like this world because um, I can make it as serious as I want. Like the world is really serious. It's really dark and grim. And you guys are just like, I ejaculate on the game. <laughs> I sleepy dark time. It's like, okay, fucking shit, guys. All right. And, and I love that you guys are um, able to sort of break up the, like the very grim parts of this game with with the humor that you bring. And I'm happy to keep doing this. It's fucking great. So thanks, thanks guys. For, thanks for doing and it. And thank you, chat. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, bike band, go. Um, I'm Weldon Sharpie at altavista.net. <laughs> <laughs> My fan fictions Alta about lamps at uh, glowlovers.org. <laughs> 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 the bike man streamer i do stuff I, i'm never one for shout outs thank you though <laughs> <laughs> and eric uh we'll skip you and go right to nice. me. No, i'm kidding go ahead. suck a dick <laughs> um you can follow me at twitch.tv slash bike man um oh, God. also follow me on twitter at twi uh, at uh, at bike man streams um I'm pretty awesome. No, uh, my name's Faustus, Variety Caster. I, you guys, I play with Nick a lot. It's fine. Um, that's it. I say I tweet out really stupid things on Twitter. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for showing up, people, and everyone in Thank the you. group for being here. And we will be back in two weeks.